Hi there. I'm Michael Simon, Chief Strategy Officer of Zensity. And I'm Rory Vinicor, Director of Marketing and Partnerships. So Zensity's mission is to help build trust between local government and the communities they serve. And AI has incredible potential to accelerate that mission. So much advancement has happened in the field of AI in the last year. So we want to show you what we've been working on that brings these latest advancements to tackle real problems experienced every day by government users all over the world. In 2022, Zen City was recognized as one of the AI 100, one of the most promising AI companies in the world for its work bringing AI to government users. And we take the responsibility of being an AI leader very seriously. We are committed to doing this right, which starts with transparency and sharing our work with the public. So over the last year, we have rolled out a number of new AI powered features. And today we are launching a new capability, a Zen City AI assistant that makes it drastically easier to solicit community input and to analyze and understand that input once you have it. This is where AI really shines. And today we're going to show you two new capabilities that the AI assistant can help with that not only will save you a ton of time, but also will make it more likely that community input is sought on decisions big and small. So first, let's talk about gathering input, because today, most community engagement only reaches the same 10 people who show up at every meeting. And even in digital engagements, where we have the potential to reach so many more, you've got to do a lot of manual preparation in order to have something the public can even react to. Getting together timelines, images, texts, configuring all the settings. But starting today, Zen City AI Assistant can do all that for you, transforming what used to take hours or days into something that only takes a few minutes. So Rory, can you show us how it works? Yes, I would love to. Uh, so let's say that our city is going to redevelop a bike lane on Main Street as part of a long-term transportation plan, and we need to get community input on some of those decisions. The design, the timing, etc. Usually, we'd have to create a bunch of stuff and configure a whole site, and it would take hours or even days. Instead, now we can use the AI assistant to do that for us. I'll show you. So we go to our own automated, uh, automated tool and go into our transit portion of the tool, and we give our project a name and share some background information with the AI. Next, we choose what we'd like to be included in our project, project page, a survey, a Q&A board, and we set up a timeline. When will the project actually be taking place and what are the key milestones? We can include other characters, other project sponsors or contacts, and we can basically explain to the AI what we hope to learn from running this survey. So I'd like to see, et cetera, et cetera, how many questions we'd like to have and what types of questions as well, demographics, et cetera. Lastly, we'll just prompt some information on the Q&A board. And, and that's pretty much it. Now I can use the AI system to do all of this for me. I have pre-populated all these questions, as you see, and it usually takes just two or three minutes. Just we have to tell the AI system what we want. And then boom, here's the page. Wow, and this is ready to edit, ready to tweak, ready to publish, and there's hours of time saved. Exactly. And a, a small group, a select group of Zensity customers have already been using this capability for the last few months, and now we're ready to roll it out to everyone. This, as of today, is available to all Zensity users. This is so cool, and it's going to save so much time. Agreed. Now, let me show you how the Zensity AI Assistant can actually help analyze this data once okay. we have it. Let's try this. People always want to know what their community is talking about on social media. Today, or I could say yesterday, I can look at my Zen City dashboard and I can adjust the filters or look at a specific topic, but now with the AI Assistant, I can just ask. An example prompt would be, um, what are the topics of conversation in Lake Stevens over the past 30 days? And there you go. Hmm. That's really cool. Okay, but let's try this. I'm a visual learner, so can you ask the assistant to make me a graph and to analyze the sentiment of the conversation? Just Definitely. Where we're at. Definitely. Okay, so create a bar graph and use the number of interactions for each topic that are positive and negative. There you go. That How's is that? so cool. I mean, I would love to take this, send it as an email update to some of my stakeholders. Oh. Can I, can the AI assistant help of with course. that? Of course. We can ask the AI assistant to draft it for us, like this. Um, great, thank you. 
a, write an email to Lake Stevens stakeholders that is an update containing all the information that you found. Hmm. And I could just add a personal touch or I could just send it as is. This is really, really cool. Exactly. Now let's look at how the AI assistant can actually analyze our surveys. So let me ask the AI assistant to look at the results of our most recent community survey. A, what city services were highest ranked in our most recent survey? There you go. And this is great, but now let's show you, let me show you where the magic really is. Prior to today, the data from surveys has always been in its own silo. And to add context, you had to look at two things side by side. But now you can actually ask your Zen City AI assistant to do all of this work for you and to look at other data sources to add context. For example, let's ask it what might actually explain the survey results. So AI assistant, can you provide any context as to why the answers are the way they are from social media? Wow, that is a major leap because today to do that, you've got to flip between tabs, you've got to do a lot of mental gymnastics. It's hard to overstate, honestly, what a big deal this is. For sure. And let me show you actually one more thing on surveys, because one of the most time-consuming parts of interpreting survey results is pouring through the crosstabs, trying to understand how one question interacts with the other. The AI assistant can now help with all of this as well. Um, we can prompt it by saying which education groups were most satisfied with the overall sense of safety. There you go. This is so cool. I mean, it illustrates where this is all going because you can point the Zen City Assistant at all your community input data and get back instant analysis that combines sources to give you the best, most comprehensive answer possible. It is worth underscoring what a big deal this is. Combining all these different types of community input makes each more useful. And we think this is a, honestly a step function improvement here. This AI Assistant is being rolled out right now to a group of beta users, and if you'd like to join that group, just sign up for the waitlist on our website. We expect to broaden the group this month, and then for this to be generally available over the summer. And of course, it will learn and add new capabilities quickly, so expect to hear and see more on this. And one more thing, uh, we know that most local government professionals are not always in front of their computer and logged into Zen City when they actually have a question. And that's why we're happy to announce that the Zen City AI Assistant is available to the beta group via both SMS and WhatsApp. And over the summer, we will also roll out the ability to use the Assistant in Microsoft Teams and Slack. So you can have the Assistant actually be your Assistant and join your meetings and answer questions right in the middle of the work you're already doing. We think that this is really exciting and it's going to further reduce the barriers to accessing community input. In addition to this and the Teams and Slack integrations, there is so much more to come in making these capabilities even more sophisticated and useful to building trust between government and the communities they serve. So that's it for today. Just a taste of what Zen City AI Assistant can do. But we look forward to your putting it to use. So please sign up for the beta waitlist and we'll get you access as soon as possible so you can try it on your own.